as we continue to follow oh, this tornado warning from Litchfield County. But also, there is a mess right now in central Massachusetts. Once you get along and outside the 495 tornadoes in Framingham, things are starting to pick up just a little bit. Still no cloud ground lightning strikes, though, in Framingham. So we're talking about the east end of this whole complex. It's causing some heavy rain on the Framingham Hopkins in the line. If we were to identify a little bit better where that is, it's essentially right on top of Route 135 and just south of the Massachusetts Turnpike, west of Route 126. That's one area of downpours that we're de dealing with now, but not so much in the way of that real uh, frequent lightning. Once you get into Worcester, you're seeing live pictures now on the right side of your screen. Uh, we're getting live pictures out of Worcester. To put you into perspective here with the radar, Worcester, of course, is, is on the uh, center of your screen. And the heaviest action is southwest of Worcester right now. But you've got frequent cloud-to-ground lightning, and, and now it looks like a new severe pressure. thunderstorm warning that remains up here for uh, for southern Worcester County and northeast Connecticut. I'll go ahead and remove the radar briefly, and you can see for yourself, there is your new severe thunderstorm warning. Again, in this area from Oxford down to Quinnebog, you've got a warning that's out until 6.15 this evening. You want to take shelter indoors away from windows as frequent lightning, heavy rain, and large hail are all approaching the area and in the area of southern Worcester County. Uh, you can also see that there is an indicator on the screen that says mezzo. What that means is that there is at least some weak rotation that's been picked up on by radar with this storm that's directly over Southbridge, Massachusetts right now. Uh, there does not appear to be a tornadic threat with the storm, but you can certainly see, and I'll point out for you, uh, where the concern would be and where the radar, although the radar puts the little icon right up here at the top, uh, really here would be your rotation, and there's a weak rotational component. Now, I should let you know that's on the south side of South Bridge. There is no tornado warning with this right now, nor will there be probably in the immediate future, meaning in the next few minutes, uh, because we've seen this already with a number of storms, a number of storms, including one that was headed over Spencer, Mass, earlier, uh, just about an hour ago, was producing rotation. But thunderstorms rotate. That happens. In nature, in fact, I would say about 60% of the thunderstorms, maybe more than that, show at least weak rotation. So when you see that mezzo, that's what it means, that there is a broad-scale rotation. There's no question this is a significant storm. There's no question that you've got a straight line wind threat that's going to be moving its way into Webster and Quinnebog right now. And there's no question that you want to make sure that you take shelter from this storm indoors, away from windows. Oxford, it looks like the heart of this thing arrives on you at about 6.11 this evening. So again, that is not the storm that we're watching for the tornado threat, but nonetheless still posing a huge threat. I think well, I, I have no question we're going to see a number of reports of home fires being started or other structure fires being started by the prolific amounts of cloud ground lightning. Here comes the latest scan on this storm. And if we zoom in a little bit more, you'll see there's still an appendage that shows up with the storm on the south side. Still certainly some signs that you've got a rotation going on. At this point, not enough to warn any type of a tornado warning. But we'll watch scan after scan and keep you posted on that because really in the world of meteorology, that's what you do. You watch scan after scan with these things because they do change by the minute. You'll notice, again, uh, evidence to the fact that some storms just rotate. There's no question that they do. Uh, Windsor Locks, right now the storm over you, you see again a little bit of that hook feature showing up. We have a favorable atmosphere for this right now. We've got a wind that's been uh, turning with height, and anytime the wind changes direction with height, it does favor some weak rotation. But it's when you see storms like this that you really start to get worried and you start to take notice. And this is the one that continues to carry a tornado warning with it. Uh, here is the radar now out of Albany, New York, and you're looking direct into the center of the storm, and you can see essentially where this storm kind of comes in uh, Ooh, to a bit of an apex. Right this is where the rotation would be, and what I'll do here is... Let me just jump yeah. in here. Maybe you could show uh, for a moment uh, where exactly the tornado warning is, because we want to repeat some tornado tips that we would like to pass along to folks. I know you know them by heart. We're going to pass them along as we give you a quick break and allow you to reset for a moment, but can you please show us where that tornado warning is so people will know exactly where these tips apply. Yes, the area that's in uh, pink right now, so that's Canaan, Connecticut, uh, and Salisbury, Connecticut, remain under the tornado warning. And uh, and essentially, uh, the biggest tip, and I know you'll give us a bunch, but the biggest one is just get down to the basement, you know, the lowest level of your home. You